now coming to some points in linux you know see in linux operating system everything is a file when we say a hard disk hard disk is also uh, sorry hard disk is a hardware but in linux it is represented as a file theek hai to linux mein har ek cheez file hai even aapka hard disk jo ki ek hardware hai wo hardware ki tarah nahi dikhega wo as a file dikhega वैसे जो भी हार्डवेयर कनेक्टेड है आपके लाइनेक्स सर्वर के साथ वो सब की सब हार्डवेयर आपको एज अ फाइल दिखेगा ओके सेकंड इज यू आर अ सिस्टम एडमिन एंड द कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस इज योर फ्रेंड ओके सो जस्ट यू हैव टू बी नो प्रैक्टिस लॉट ऑफ कमांड्स सो दैट यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद सी कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली यू विल नॉट गेट जी यू इज नो माउस कैपेबिलिटीज यू के नॉट जस्ट डबल क्लिक एंड रन एनी you have to run commands you have to type commands and the last one automate everything once we finish the course in the end i am going to uh, tell you about ansible automation okay uh, just the introduction part and that will be more than enough to start your own automation okay you don't have to use commands after that command is uh, commands you have to learn to create your base strong okay you have to make your base very strong your fundamentals should be strong okay once fundamentals are right then you can move ahead to the ansible automation and then there you do not even have to run any command okay it is very simple tool okay so these are some points that we will keep in mind and we will try to you know learn accordingly okay so before i tell you about the architecture let me just show you uh, how you can create your own virtual machine for the installation practice you have to install rhcl8 okay so you have to practice that as well so you what you can do is you can just simply download a virtualization platform it can be a vmware player or virtual box or hyper v okay so on these platforms you can easily install red hat version 7 version 8 anyone even centos also okay so first of all let me tell you uh, let me show you how it looks like then i will uh, explain you the complete process how you can do it okay see like in my laptop i am using vmware player so vmware workstation 16 player this is the software i am using for virtualization okay so as you see on my left i have installed so many linux operating system even windows 11 virtual machine is there so this application vmware workstation player will help you create a virtual machine okay so let me first of all show you uh, red hat 8 virtual machine so let me just power it on okay so so this is the login screen see right now i'm showing you gui why because we are freshers right now we are totally new to red hat linux so for one week or two weeks maybe a month or so we will just stick on the graphics okay and then afterwards when we uh, when we are you know familiar with linux then we will move to entirely cli which is this command line interface okay black screen okay so i'm just going to log in to my system okay so this is the you know login screen or you can say uh, the desktop of red hat enterprise linux version 8 and you know the things are little bit different here because on the left top you see activities if you click activities you will get a dock on the left all right so on the dock you have some pinned programs like favorites okay like shortcuts these are these are some shortcuts if you want to see all programs the complete list of programs then you have to click the last icon which is for show applications when you click show applications ye sari applications installed hain linux mein by default firefox is available files like my computer in windows we have files in linux okay see let me show you if i click files you know this will open 
so this is my home directory what is a home directory on where i am going to work like in windows let me show you first like in windows what is my home directory it will be inside c drive there will be users and then my username amit f so this is my home drive home directory sorry okay so this is my home directory similarly in linux also we have a home directory for each and every user okay so let me get back activities all programs so these are all programs so here you will see utilities additional programs are there and there in there is one terminal if you click this terminal you will get the command line interface okay so here you can start typing commands for example there is one ls command which will show you the contents of the current location so in my current location there are so many folders and files in windows we say folders in linux we say directory okay so there are so many directories in blue color and there are so many files in white color okay and this red color file is basically a zip file so you know i will go, i will tell you everything uh, one by one so yeah so ls is just one example similarly there is one pwd command which means print working directory okay or you can say present working directory so my present working directory is inside home i am inside student directory okay so so this is how we run commands okay don't worry about the commands i am not explaining anything right now i'm just showing you a demo okay so yes and in the middle top you see the date and time if you click you will see the calendar on the left it will show you some notifications like there are some operating system updates available okay so these are some notifications you can clear the notifications like that and on to the right so here if you click you will get to see some settings like volume up and down <clears throat> then you have ethernet which means your network adapter okay so in my virtual machine i have added two network adapters for practice okay and then you have student student is the username which i am using to log in if i click it will say log out switch user all these things and below we have three buttons one is for settings middle one for lock screen lock and last one for restart or power off like that if i click settings you know a page will open and all the settings all the options will be on the left and on the right there will be the setting values or the configuration okay so like all the uh, you know if if you want to change the wallpaper also you can just click on background background wallpaper lock screen wallpaper you can select anything okay for example i am selecting this as a wallpaper for my background and for lock screen i am using this gray one okay if you come out you get the new wallpaper right all right so this is i mean just the overview so now the question is how to install this how to create a virtual machine and how to install this right so as a system admin you should know how to install a operating system because in the industry companies may maximum aapko virtual machines hi dikhengi वहां पे वर्चुअल मशीन के लिए वीएमवेयर प्लेयर नहीं यूज होगा बट वीएमवेयर कंपनी का ही एक अलग प्रोडक्ट यूज होता है उसको बोलते हैं वीस्फेयर सो इन द कंपनीज यू विल बी यूजिंग वीस्फेयर एप्लीकेशन टू क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल मशीन ओके एंड ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट शो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन वर्चुअल मशीन एंड यू नो प्रैक्टिस द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इंस्टॉलेशन if you have 4 gb or less than uh, ram okay and sometimes when you go further so when you go for advanced linux in this class you mm -hmm. might need two server or three server correct because you do not have very good ram in your laptop so we are giving you lab access where you can run two linux servers or three linux servers also so amit is going to show that networking labs also yeah very soon but just yeah. understand how to install linux in your computer also yes because we need to practice the installation part as well all right so for the installation we need two things basically first is the iso file the operating image uh, operating system image operating system installer image so iso image so we can get that rhel8 uh, iso file from this link 
I will share it in the chat as well. Okay, so this is the first link you can use it. All right, so it says the title of this uh, page is no cost RHEL developer subscription now available. Okay, so this is from Red Hat only. And it is for us basically who are learning Linux and who want to prepare for the exam like that. So here you just need to do just one small thing. You need to click here, download button. You see, go get it. Here is a download button. You can click it. Okay, you will be redirected to a, another page. Okay, so this is the download page you will be redire redirected to. So just simply click this red download button. So 9 GB file will be downloaded. But first, yes, you have to log into your Red Hat account. But if you, you don't have Red Hat account right now, correct. So below you see register for Red Hat account. Just simply register for the Red Hat account. Okay. And then once you register, go back to this link, click download, and then use your uh, details like I'm using. So I've saved my ID password here. So once you log in, the download should start immediately or there is a download RHEL8 button. Okay. So yeah, see automatically download has started. It is asking me to save this file RHEL 8.4 DVD ISO like that. Okay. So this is the step one. It is a nine GB file. You can download it. Okay. So once download is finished or parallelly, you can also download VMware player or virtual box. It's up to you. So I recommend using VMware player. So you can just simply copy this link. Okay. I'm sharing it. All right. So you can just simply use this link to download VMware player. All right. So this is the download pr uh, product page and select version from the drop down. Just select the latest one. Like latest is 16.2, just select it. And then scroll below. On the right, you will see two download buttons. First is for the Windows, second is for Linux. Obviously, we are all using Windows laptops, right? So we will download for Windows. So click download now. And it's 60 or 100 MB application. Okay. Just simply download it. Once it is downloaded, double click to install. That's it. Okay. So how it looks like after installation, let me show you. Okay. Let's say you have downloaded and installed VMware application, VMware player. So just go to start button, search for VMware. So it will pop up on the start button. Simply click it. And this is the home screen or home page for VMware workstation player. All right. So you will not see anything on the left except home. You will just see home. Rest of the items here are my virtual machines. You will not see anything. So it will be something like this. On the right, you will see create a new virtual machine, open a virtual machine, upgrade to VMware Pro. Okay. So we have to just click the first option, create a new virtual machine. Just click it. Okay. And select the third option. I will install operating system later. Okay. For now, click next. It will ask you what is the operating system that you're going to install. Just mention Linux and version Red Hat 864 bit from the drop down. Okay. Click next. It will ask you to name it. So let me name it as October RHEL 8. Okay. You can give any name and location. Just select a location where approximately 20 GB is free. So in my C drive, 20 GB is not free. I'm going to check some other drive. Let's say D drive, maybe. Okay. Like in D drive, I'm going to save in virtual machines. Okay. Inside virtual machine, I'm again going to create a directory like OCT RHEL 8. Okay. And click next. Next, uh, this is asking for how much hard disk you want to give to your virtual machine. I'm just going to give 20 GB for now. 20 GB is more than enough for practice. Click next. Now it is asking to customize the hardware. So depending on your laptop, okay, you can assign the, you can allocate the hardware. So 
you can go as minimum as 1 gb ram and 1 gb uh, 1 gb ram and one processor single processor since i have a good hardware laptop i can select memory as 2 gb ram as 2 gb and processor as two processors right so this is it just simply close and click finish so your base skeleton is ready operating system is not installed obviously but base is ready so now we have to install the operating system now just select your oct rhel 8 on the left click edit virtual machine settings option on the right okay you will get a box like this similar box and on the left you see cd dvd sata sata okay so now you have to select this and on the right use use iso image file option browse click browse and go to your uh, directory or folder where you have downloaded rhel so once you select the iso click okay okay and now just simply click play virtual machine okay so this is the installation screen the first option is install red hat linux second option test this iso file which we are not going to do third is troubleshooting i will explain you later so you have to highlight the first option once you highlight it will become white as you can see the first option is now white simply just highlight it and press enter it will take a minute or so and the installation screen will be there on the screen all right so this is the installation screen which is very simple it's like just it's just like windows you do next next finish similarly this is okay okay so first screen you have to just select the language english united states it is fine for me click continue all right so this is the second screen now here you need to just select few options for example you have to select this installation destination option which is in uh, exclamation mark and red text okay so just click it and you have to select automatic from the last option you see storage configuration automatic custom like that so just select automatic and click done so done button is at the top okay so one one you have done okay second thing network and host name just click that network and host name and make sure this button is on okay this means your networking is on your virtual machine will have access to internet that's it next button is done okay just switch it on click done so two things are done now the third thing root password okay so root so root is the super user in linux or you can say admin account in linux administrator account so root is the name of administrator account in linux root user can do anything okay so we have to set a root password so root user password i am just giving right now as red hat it's a weak password but for the demo i am giving a weak password okay so red hat is the password and i am going to click done and that's it so three things i have uh, modified in this screen installation destination network and host name and root password that's it and now just simply click begin installation okay so it will take 10 to 15 minutes and after that you will get the same screen as i displayed you earlier okay you will get the same thing 